Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel A Monk in Cloud. In this video, I'm going to discuss about some of the AWS project ideas that you can try over the weekend. All right, so let's get started without wasting much time. So these are some beginner level projects that you can work on if you're just getting started in AWS and if you're preparing for any certification, you can try these projects. Right. So if you have experience working on that, please skip this video because this is very, very beginner level uh, projects that you can think of. OK, so these are uh, the project that uh, I have listed. There are around five. So if you have worked on any project and if you have some idea, please comment down below so that everyone else can also try that out and we can learn among the community. All right. So the first project is to set up a static website using S Amazon S3 and CloudFront. So this is a simple project. There are many tutorials out there. So drop a comment down below uh, if you want me to, uh, you know, work on this project and drop a video on this. So I will uh, make sure to do that. So let me know in the comment section. Basically, this project would involve creating an S3 bucket to host the website. You know website files like index.html css and all the other files that you require okay take any sample files and start with it right you don't have to be a developer for this a website developer get a free uh, website from the internet and then host it on the s3 bucket okay and also try to use cloudfront to distribute the website to the visitors if possible buy a cheapest domain for yourself and you can also host your own resume on that right so uh, i've been interviewing some of the candidates for cloud engineer role uh, recently one of the candidate presented their resume in 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 the form of a website so i was pretty Im impressed by that and for that he has set up a pipeline obviously Right. So he has uh, uh, prepared some Jenkins pipeline. And if there is any ch changes that he pushes to his GitHub repository, so automatically that will be hosted on the EC2 instance. The uh, Git uh, GitHub will trigger that and the deployment will happen with the help of Jenkins. Right. You can think of those sort of ideas also. Next, the second project is to create a simple backend API using Amazon API Gateway and AWS Lambda. So you can explore the serverless side of AWS in this project, right? So the API Gateway and AWS Lambda comes in a serverless side of uh, AWS. In this project, you would involve creating an API endpoint using something called as API Gateway in AWS and writing a Lambda function to handle the API requests, right? So you can also try that out. Uh, this is very simple one, right? Next, the third one is to deploy a simple web application using Amazon Elastic Beanstalk. So Elastic Beanstalk, you can try that out and you can host the same website that you have uh, worked on in the first project in the same uh, third project also. Right. So this project, uh, you would be learning. Uh, basically, you would also learn how to upload a simple web application to Elastic Beanstack. Right. So which will handle the deployment, scaling and management of your own application. Right. So you can try this first and then work on this one, because this is uh, I think uh, the Elastic Beanstack one uh, is really simple to get started. Right. Next set up a scalable and highly available database using rds so i have made a separate video on amazon rds there is a master class out there so I, that is one of the most viewed uh, uh, video on my channel so people have accepted that one so i think it is here in the um, weekend master class right so this is one of the uh, greatest video on my channel at least Right. So I'm getting a lot of messages saying that please continue to do some masterclass on the other services also. So for a uh, relational database, I would recommend you to go through this particular video and then get started with the projects. Right. So I'm not saying that you should go through that only. If you find any other useful videos, right, you can drop them in the comment section. I have no issues with that. 
right so next fifth one is to create a serverless backend for mobile application using dynamo db aws lambda amazon api gateway right so this you can try it can be a mobile application or simple web application also right so in this project you would be working or involving yourself to set up a dynamo db database so, so this is another serverless uh, database that uh, aws is offering you can work on this also dynamo db database so you will be writing lambda function to handle api request and configure api gateway to handle the traffic to the backend right so you can try this out so if you have any other projects that you want me to uh, try out or you want other community people to try out so drop them in the comment section so that we can also learn along the way right so each of this project will give you hands-on experience with aws service various aws service and help you build your skills in cloud computing right so getting a certification is not at all encouraged right now because people are looking for a real world examples or hands-on experience so to get hands-on experience you need to build projects right so i have also created some projects here in my youtube channel you can check this out right i have a separate playlist for all the things that i've done so aws projects you can see here azure demos uh, devops projects you can go check that out right so that's it i had for today's video if you're liking the content that i'm creating please consider subscribing and share it among your friends thank you and i will see you in the next one